Now we explore southwest. Go, go, power prong. Uh, actually, do south. Okay. On land, south side of the bridge. 120 meters from Abomination. Um, I have three paths. One southeast, one south, and one southwest. I'm going to start with southwest. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. That is where Sam worked. Oh, I have a ping for it, because there's a beacon I can see. It's 200 meters south of us. Huge open area. Giant five, six hundred meters across. Very high. Four or five hundred foot cliffs surrounding it. This looks like a giant crater, but I don't think it's quite round enough for that. Everything's frozen. There's a couple of geysers bursting up and occasional little red weeds peeking out here and there. There's some Altera boxes right underneath me. I'm going to check those. Water. Good. Eat that. There's spy pangling fragments here. I think I might have to build a pangling. I think it's going to make me do it. It's a little two or three foot tall robot that you remote control and can go pick up stuff. This red stuff comes up out of the ground and it looks like thick red computer cable or something and then there's a giant glob of ice surrounding it and then it bursts out the top of the ice. It looks like a giant red and white tumor sticking out of the ground. It's the only plant around here. Okay, more Altera boxes. This looks like an Altera actual landing platform for either, sp yeah, spacecraft, I would say. Yep, that's what it is. It's basically a helipad. And there's already a beacon at it, so I'm going to leave that there. There is an ice river that continues southeast. And there is a path further up into the cliffs to the southwest. Actually, there's gigantic... 20 meter high, 50 meter wide, phi robotic steel doors that are partially open. It just says phi robotics and it says 04. And the prawn will not go in there, so I'm going to have to park it out here. This is a natural cave that they built a base in. This is where Sam worked. Oh, there's two huge Altera rooms connected with a catwalk, and all of it is wrecked. Everything is bent and twisted. Looks like it all got crushed or blown up or something. Forklift. There's something called a Snow Fox hover pad fragment. It's a giant round platform with a couple of looks like 3D printer arms. Looks like you can build a vehicle on this thing. New technology acquired. There is a normal Earth forklift, obviously unchanged in thousands of years of advancement. There's a battery. I think I can climb these bent-ass fucking stairs on the right. Okay, entering Phi Robotics Facility. It's just a disaster in here. There's shit everywhere. Box. Lubricant. Never know. Oh my god! Power cell charger! Scan that bitch. Well, we can recharge power cells. This looks like somebody's office. There is a poster on the wall with a cute cat wearing a space helmet hanging off of a metal bar. It says, hang in there. <laughs> there is a tablet on this person's oh. desk. <laughs> you oh. brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio. Is that okay? That's Sam. Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um... What am I looking at here? Corral pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's New been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. 
get bureaucracy, Sam. There's another tablet. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> While I listen to this, I'm moving to the second destroyed building. I think I've got everything out of here. So, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern. With the frozen Leviathan, I investigated and... You I investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've <laughs> looked into it, nice. and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has our safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. There is a blueprint. Oh, there's Snow Fox Fragment. Can't tell what it is. Looks like it's, yeah, it's some kind of hover motorcycle for the snow. It would actually help you get around safely here. And if it doesn't touch the ground, it might not trigger the ice worms. They might not even know you're there. Okay, here's another tablet. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, Pengling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait. Are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A Hydra? Uh, well... Fred's a fucking creep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Sam's got an interesting poster on the wall of a robotic robotic hand changing a light bulb. <coughs> this is a metaphor for her work, I guess. Let's check her tablet. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? That's Danielle. <laughs> oh, girl she fine. was dating. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm going to tell you something. And then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Okay. All right. Useful news. I have found a map that shows this whole area. This area is called the Glacial Basin. I can see the bridge at the top right of the map, and then a bunch of different paths that converge where I am. And I can see Phi Robotics Base, and it looks like it's connected to what looks like an alien gate. So I need to find that in this area before I leave this room. Then there's Ice Rivers Southwest. 
and more pingling sites. This is all Sam's favorite research sites. There's also some purple trees to the west. I'm not sure what that means. And two mountains next to each other with a cave in between on the map. I've scanned it, so I hope that means I'll have access to this map in my PDA. Here's another tablet. Pangling backlog. Ideas for future revisions. Hover treads, ski attachments, night or thermal vision, heat module used to melt ice or attract fauna during extreme weather, extensible first aid arm. Could be used to safely administer medical care. Yep. Okay. So, some other machinery in here that's trash that I don't understand. Dr. Zeta Landon. Scanning her. Yeah, she looks like a douchebag. I couldn't scan Sam's nameplate. It's missing. So, and her room looks absolutely trashed. And I don't know. If anything, it might be trashed in addition to the damage to the facility. They might have fired her beforehand. Okay. Checking outside. Let's see. Southeast corner of this room. There's more boxes. Yep, I see alien tech. That's why they built their base in this cave. There is alien stuff at the back of the cave. There's some more lube. You can never have too much lube. Oh, yeah. There is a gate back here. I wonder if I can activate it. I have ion cubes on me. That's what it took to, add to turn them on in Subnautica 1. Nope. It is not. Usually a little control panel rises up out of the ground. It's a typical architect gate. It's basically a square standing on its end, and then you can walk through the center of it. And there's huge structures supporting it on either side, and it's just definitely that alien metal with their signature sort of patterning on it. And uh, I don't think they knew what to do with it back here. It doesn't seem to do anything. In Subnautica 1, though, the alien gates were usually activated from one side. So I might not be able to activate it from this side, but if I find the other side, maybe I can teleport back to here. Okay. Box of water. Give me that. Drink that fucking water. Oh. Hell yeah. Okay. I think that's everything I need from Fi Robotics. Out here, icicles are falling on my fucking brown suit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Get in there. Okay, so according to the map, I go behind this facility, which is up these cliffs to the west. Winding paths. Okay, now I'm above Fire Robotics. There is a ladder here. This is not something that the prawn is intended to get past, I think. Fuck what they intend. Grappling hook and jump jets. No problem. Up on a higher plateau to the northwest. Wide open area with cliffs on all sides. More red grass and a crevice in the center that drops down into path below. See anything interesting down there? It's just like frozen ice. It's like maybe just another way to traverse this zone and continue west. Narrows into cliffs 10 meters apart on either side. It's getting a little tight, but not too bad. There's still glow sticks on the ground, so definitely this is a human path. Uh, there's a skeleton of some creature. It looks like a small small ice worm skeleton, but I'm not sure. Ah, there's a pool of water below. And a cave leading to the west. Let's see if the prawn will fit in here. It does. Oh, this might be snow stalker lair. There's bones everywhere of smaller type creatures. I'm hearing some noises that sound suspiciously like snow stalkers. Yep, there they are. Uh, I am not going to murder you, buddy. I definitely could. I will opt to let you live since you are not as annoying as a Cryptosuchus. Alright, continuing. This is forcing me south. I'm 
just going to take a quick peek what's in this water on foot. Looks like it go continues west. We've got weird green ice. We've got a thermal spire down here. Yeah, it's a weird ice tunnel. So there's a water-filled ice tunnel flowing through the middle of this shit. Southwest to northeast. And we're going to continue on foot. Okay. I'm not sure if there's anywhere left to go in this path, so I've got to go back northwest. Because reasons. This does not connect to what I thought it did. Okay, so we're going to be back at Phi Robotics Big Area, which is where we almost are. Now we are. Go back down the ladder we were not supposed to come up with the pond. You didn't want me to go all the places you should not have given me a grappling hook and jetpack. Okay, now we're going southeast from Phi Robotics. Oh shit, that's a big drop. That might actually damage the prawn if I fall down that. I need to not fall down that. That's too far. Grapple to this rock and pull across. Okay. Just jumped over like a 200 foot chasm in the prawn suit. I love this thing. Still have 87% power thanks to putting alien ion batteries in it a while back. Big open area. It kind of opens up into a flat. I'm on cliffs on the side of this area, and the valley below me is about 50 meters down. There's an icy river. I remember seeing the icy river on the map. If I continue, I should reach Sam's other pangling sites, which might not be good because I don't have a pangling. I'm going to need to construct one of those. There's a ladder going down into a hole right here. What does this go down to? There is a tablet in the room down this ladder. I'm going to go check it out. Climbing down into a five meter diameter hole. A ledge and another ladder climbing down farther. Dark room with that strange ice that has the flecks of glowy shit in it. So it looks like a starry sky. What does this tablet say? What a... Glacial Basin Research Notes. Biofluorescence. What a wonderful discovery. Plants that can survive in this frozen expanse without light. They absorb incoming light and turn it into bioluminescent fluid trapped in their bulbs. Additionally, it appears the temperature in this cave are just warm enough for these plants to germinate and thrive. Okay. This was probably not worth coming down here for. But this connects to this ledge is... Yep, I'm down at the Ice River level. Okay, so if I'm ever on the Ice River... Can use this passage to get back up. Okay, back to the super duper prawn suit. All right, and determined to continue south. Okay, we're still on the upper path above the river basin. Trucking along river has passed underneath us and there is a I see a dock. I see the river thaws up here for some reason and there is an Altera dock in this one spot of the river where it's melted. Go check it out and see if there's any loot there. Oh, sorry penguins. I just about crushed an entire family of penguins underneath my feet. Whoops. So far I have not killed a penguin. I have no plans to genuinely don't bother me and they're never in the way. Let's see what's in this water. What is this fucking... There's a tunnel down here. I don't think I could get... The tunnel's big enough for the sea truck, but it could never make the turns with all of the attachments, so I don't know what the fuck this area is for. But clearly they got some kind of submersible craft through there. I might go out that way in the prawn. Guys, let me buy. There's a bunch of... Oh, that looks like a snow fox chunk. Scanning that bitch. 60% progress towards the snow fox. Probably one more fragment will do it. 
Uh, the river basin is splitting. It goes west and south. I'm going to go south. Actually, just on the frozen river now. It turns right into a cave. There's snowstalkers. Excuse me, sir. I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. There's some thawed water in here. Frozen ice on all sides. There's another snow stalker. Mine's one second. Zero seconds. Out of slider. Channeling me back towards the big room. Guess. What's at the back of your cave? Look, dude, don't don't start shit. You don't want it. Somebody tell this guy he doesn't want it. Okay. May have gotten the prawn stuck on the stalactite. Nope, we're good. Okay. The prawn can't enter this room. No, it can't. They deliberately put the stalactite at exactly the right height to prevent prawn entry. Let's see what the fuck is in this room. It's at the back of the snowstalker cave, so it's pretty inaccessible. It's beautiful cave full of that sort of glittering ice ceiling. There is some kind of Altera gear at the top of this. Top center of this room has like a little hill in it. It's basically a pillar of ice that they have built a walkway up onto. Water pellets. Oh, this is definitely one of her penguin sites. I can see a little tiny cave that a penguin could go through, but I can't. I can see a bunch of quartz in there. Okay, Altera PDA. Glacial Basin. Upon further investigating the cave system, there are many rich mineral nodes lining the walls. The glacial melt is uncovering previously hidden mineral veins. Moving a loose rock is quite easily allowing into the... Yeah, okay. Cool, but not immediately helpful. I'm going to have to build a penguin. This time I'm at the truck. There are baby snow stalkers in here. There are adult snow stalkers in here. And I made a wrong turn and I'm not near the prawn. Get away from me, dude. Yep, you can't get me in here. You can't fit in the crevice, just like the prawn can't, bitch. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's just snarling at me from a distance away. Yep. Oh shit! He's magically pulled me in. Bitch. Well, that's an interesting mechanic game. You, like, summoned me to be eaten 10 feet away. Huh, not cool. Not cool. Make myself some water. I'm going to eat a nutrient brick right in front of him to make him jealous of my advanced technology. <laughs> not quit snarling at me. And that's probably all the justification I needed to kill every snow stalker in this entire fucking cave system. It doesn't take much. How you doing, bud? Eat it, eat it. Bitch. Get grappled. Dead, motherfucker. And that's how man and nature came to be at odds. <laughs> I found some snow stalker fur on the ground. And if it exists as a drop, it must be useful for something. This guy didn't drop any, though. So I need to find more of that, maybe. Okay, outside of that cave. Continuing on. Is this the cave where that other asshole attacked me? I believe it is. I see the babies. I'm sorry, sir, but you have to die for science. Their roar noise is, uh... The roar noise needs work when they're being chainsawed. Mm -hmm. It's resetting too often. Yep, there's baby snow stalkers here. Let me... Juvenile snow stalker. Scan that guy. They are snoring like Betty's Beagle. How about that? Isn't that beautiful? How about that? What a glorious sound. Oh, 
Hunter. Remarkably close to the big. Yeah, it is pretty close to big. Okay, there's a lot of bones in here. There's several snow stalkers. But no fur. Skeletons. This is where I picked up that fur before. <laughs> no fur around this guy either. Alright, well I guess I just need to start checking the Snowstalker caves for fur. All of them. And murdering all their adults. Because they're annoying. Okay. I'm gonna put some of this copper and titanium in the back of the prawn to make room for my person. Okay. Babies shall live so the species can continue. Adults are going to eat a dick on sight from now on. Make sure there's no fur on the ground outside of here. No, I don't see any. It is now dark as shit out here, so I can't see too well in the river basin. But there is a cave to the northeast of me that is well lit by human torches. Okay, we'll get to that. Continuing along the left wall, really far west. What's our bearings? 900 meters south of the abomination in the bridge. Geysers here. It's really quiet at night. Sort of a light snowfall. Oh, this might be another pangling site. Yeah, it is. Another spot I could use a pangling to explore something, and I can't explore it without the pangling. So that is obnoxious. Ah, I see some Altera stairs and a platform ahead, and it's lit. There's, and I see the forest. Sam marked this on her map. I just had. Where the fuck did I put that? Glacial. She calls this the glacial basin, and I scanned her map. It's actually nice. They didn't used to do this in this game. When I scanned her map on the wall, it like took a phone picture of it. So now I have an exact copy of her map with me. That's handy. Listen to this area, though. pretty intense it's really kind of relaxing like the sky is there's clouds rolling overhead although i can see the stars between the clouds there's a moon shining down we're getting that weird eclipse thing again where everything's got a reddish glow it's like a red dawn and i am in a huge area maybe a kilometer or two wide i didn't realize it but it has a bunch of trees that look like those african trees that grow in really random directions. It's like the tree grows up for three feet and then hangs a hard right and then grows up some more and then hangs a hard left and they're just really strange looking. By the time they're done growing, they look kind of beautiful and a whole forest of them, all of that chaos like blends in and looks like a, a, a coherent plan. And they have sort of spiky purple flowers. But this is the, this is marked on the map as just little poorly drawn purple flowers. About to freeze to death, so I gotta sit in the prawn for a second. And we're going to investigate. We got some Altera boxes. That's a flare. I did not want to pick that up. Immediately drop it again. Josh is blasting fucking electronic music. I love it. First aid kit. Sorry. Nutrient block. Needed that. Data box. Snow Fox jump module. New Sounds fun. Picked up a power cell. Okay. Crossing an icy river. Is there nothing else on the southern border of this? 
Oh, there is. It goes up a ramp behind the... Oh, this is where I came from. Look at the map. Sam's flipping map. Northwest from the purple trees is where I want to go. That's the two mountain tops. And I can almost see them. Across the frozen river. This area is really quite nice. It's peaceful. There's just no critters here. There's just these gorgeous purple trees. There's an Altera antenna here at the northwestern edge. There's some boxes over there. I'm going to go check this out. It's at the bottom of this antenna. Okay, box one. Purification tablet. Can't grab any snow here for some reason. Another purification tablet. Nutrient block. Go over here where I can get some snow. Turn these into waters. Good. Tons of water, plenty of food. They're not getting rid of me anytime soon. Save, since I've done a ton of shit. <laughs>